subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, a comprehensive guide to capturing subprocess output in Python. Introduction Python provides a powerful module called subprocess that allows you to spawn new processes, connect to their input slash output slash error pipes, and obtain their return codes. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to execute a subprocess and capture its output using various methods. The simplest way to capture subprocess output is by using the subprocess.run function. This method was introduced in Python 3.5 and is a high-level interface for subprocess management. In this example, the capture underscore output equals true argument tells subprocess.run to capture the output, and text equals true specifies that the output should be returned as a string, as opposed to bytes. Another way to capture subprocess output is by using the subprocess.popen class. This method provides more flexibility and control over the subprocess. Here, we use stout equals subprocess.pipe to capture the standard output and stare equals subprocess.pipe to capture any errors. If you prefer to save the output to a file, you can redirect it. This method is useful when you want to analyze the output later or share it with others. Capturing subprocess output in Python can be achieved using various methods provided by the subprocess module. Choose the method that best fits your requirements and provides the level of control you need for your specific use case. ChatGPT